both of you out. This is a late night video. I know it's late, y'all. Yeah, I got Let me flip it back. Like okay. Yeah, I know it's late, y'all. I'm saying, but see, I got to drop these country out the country for y'all. But yeah, make sure y'all guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, so I can know if I live real that we do over here. Um, if you're a new subscriber, this is what the fuck we do. And if you're an old subscriber, you know how we rocking always. My peeps. Let's just start calling y'all my peeps. What's up, my peeps? <laughs> my peeps. My fam. Um, so, this is the question that everybody has been asking. Is Georgia Bulldogs the new Alabama? Me being a Georgia fan for a while, and I've been with them when they was up. No, I've been with them when they was down, and I've been with them when they was up. I've seen our rush records, and I've seen our versus records, and I've seen our best records. And me being a Georgia fan, you know, um, um, it's to me, you know, Georgia plays now like up in your face defense. It plays up in your face offense. They have a coach that mm. understands the the, the the game. They they have a coach that Kirby is a coach that understands the game. He understands how to play football. He understands, you know, and for him to be in that spot that he in is well deserved. So me being a Georgia fan, I'm not saying because I'm a Georgia fan, I'm saying that yes, there's a new King of Time, there's a new Nick Saban, there's a new team that's better than Alabama, there's a new team that's better than Clemson, there's a new team that's better than Ohio State, and I can say that, you know what I'm saying? Actually, it's a new team that's better than Michigan at this point. Do I think Georgia's going to go to um, a, a, another championship and repeat? Yes. Reason because there's no team better than them. There's no team... That is looking at them right about now. They, yeah, that little scare we had with Missouri, yeah, it was a very scare. But each other team had struggled, you know what I'm saying? We just had Ohio State struggle against Northwestern Saturday, 21-7. They got exposed. The number one team in the college football, the college football um, playoffs committee, committee ranked them number one. And they got, they got exposed. You know what I'm saying? Um, so to me, Ohio State even they struggled. Like they they struggled, struggled. So to me, it's just like even if Georgia, e even if Ohio State and Georgia play in the next championship, to me, Georgia's gonna win. Georgia's gonna repeat. Georgia's gonna um win because they understand now, and they they under they understand. That's, I can say, being, and I'm not saying it because I'm a Georgia fan. To me, that's the only complete team at this point that, that, that that's doing numbers and, and, and post it, it up in your face with it. They're not scared. Do you know how many teams, how many teams Tennessee had, had demolished? Tennessee demolished Florida. Tennessee demolished Kentucky. Tennessee demolished LSU. And LSU just be Alabama. And then Tennessee just um just just um just beat Alabama. Do you know when they came to acting that we was not playing with them? Like when I think when they came to acting, they thought we was playing. They thought that shit was a play play. Or just a play play. That they playing, they playing. No, they was not playing. What I seen from Steffi Bennett to Brock Browers, Steffi Bennett to McConkey, Steffi Bennett to Ringo. I mean, not Ringo, but shit. You might want to say Steffi Bennett to Ringo because how Ringo caught that ball. He was like, he was on another goddamn team. He was just on our team. To Ringo, I mean, to Steffi Bennett to McIntosh, that game was tremendously exposed in Tennessee. And their fans are so salty at this point. Like, their fans are so fucking delusional. Like, okay, so we lost against Georgia. There's an opportunity. There's maybe an opportunity for y'all. But y'all are win out. At this point, we gotta win out at this point. 
Their fan base sucks. I don't like Tennessee. I don't like their fans. I don't like none of them. You know what I'm saying? Only person I can say that at this point that that's really is doing it is Georgia. I can say um, Ohio State and Michigan, them down here, down here, and then Georgia is right up here. To me, it's Georgia versus everybody else. At this point, it used to be Georgia, Alabama, and Ohio State versus everybody else. But now, they getting us, Alabama got exposed. Clemson got exposed. Ohio State getting exposed. And Ohio State got that big ass match on um, at the end. They got that big ass match against Michigan, but we don't know. They probably got. A, they probably gonna eliminate each other. Uh, the one team gonna eliminate the other. So at this point, yes, I think there's a new dynasty in town. I think that Georgia is the new Alabama. I think Georgia is. Kirby Smart is the next Nick Saban. He's the new king of all kings. There's a new football in town. New, new football team in town. And it's the Georgia Bulldogs. There's no competition. There's no competition at this point. Those boys are hungry. They want another ring and they're going to get it this year. Sorry to say. And it's just that simple and that easy to say that Georgia Bulldogs are going to win this year. Another national championship. They're going to go to the playoffs. Even with one loss, they're probably they're going to still go into the playoffs. Because they that first win over Oregon. And then that person went on Tennessee. And they're just not anybody else. So, yeah. Georgia is new Alabama. Um, Kirby is a new Nick Saban. And Alabama dynasty is closing. Nick Saban is not coaching like he used to. And it's just, it's just ridiculous how he's doing it. You know what I'm saying? They can say that they got changes to do and all that. But Nick, they, Nick Saban's days are numbered. Be honest. They are numbered. I love y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know that. And we'll be back with more Georgia Bulldog content, more mukbangs, more conversations, and more pranks. Love y'all. Bye, my peeps. <laughs>